Okay, this is uh, just a basic Excel uh, video on typing into Excel, typing uh, math into Excel, formatting cells, cell references, and maybe some basic formulas. So, uh, first of all, if you want to type in any sort of math, have Excel do math for you, you have to type equals first, and then type in whatever math you want to do. So, let's say I want to find out what one-third is as a decimal. So, now, after the equals, I type in one-third. Hit enter and I have what one-third is to a decimal out to about five places or so. You can adjust the number of places that are shown by right mouse clicking and uh, format the cell and you can um, uh, right here you have to format it as a number right here and then you can add or decrease places. Right now it shows two places so if I hit OK it will only show two of the decimal places. If I right mouse click on that and do it again, format cells, I can increase the number of decimal places as far as you like. Now I got a lot of decimal places there, 13 decimal places, and sometimes it may not uh, widen the cell. Like if I have it squished in like this, see I click right here on the edge, then it shows a whole bunch of like number signs right there. But you can double click there and it will widen it out as, uh, as needed. Uh, now, even if it only shows a couple cells here, like one-third, if I type that in, and actually sometimes if it's formatted as a, uh, as a fraction, then you don't have to worry about doing equals. But this one is not formatted as a fraction, and so when I typed in 1 over 3 without the equal sign, I got this, January 3rd. In other words, first month, third year. So it didn't uh, understand that I wanted a fraction. So what you can do is when you type in equals one-third, it definitely knows, well, it should know you want a fraction, but since it since you didn't type the equals, now you're kind of locked into that uh, date type of setting. So we'll change it out of that. We'll right mouse click, format the cell, and you can see it's into custom here, like date and month, but you need to change it to number right there. And so now you're back to number and you can uh, add more digits. And I think we can also get more digits instead of formatting the cell. I think we can go right here. I'm in the home area and add decimal places to it. Now that's decreasing decimal places. Let's try this. There we go. Increasing decimal places. You can add different things. Let's see what happens if I click right here. I think this will sh switch it to a percent. See? But you've lost some of your decimal points there. Again, even if they don't show, they'll be all used in the calculations, and I think it goes out 15 decimal places on Excel, so it's very, very exact. Um, let's see, if I wanted to show more digits on that, I think right here might do it, and we'll get more digits. If you wanted to show it with dollars, probably right there, you know, 33 cents is what that's equal to. So we can take some of that stuff off. Let's see if we can get that off of there. Um, and this is more accounting functions here. So I'll tell you what, let's just go back to um, getting some of this stuff off here. So let's just go back to, see it changed it, the, the category from uh, number over to accounting. So we'll go back to number. Well, another thing we could do is switch it over to a fraction. So if we uh, right mouse click here, see we're under number area, but uh, right there did it, or right mouse click, and we can switch it to a fraction. And with fraction, you can say, do you want to see one digit or clear up to three digits as, if it has it? And I always go clear up to three digits just in case it would be a weird fraction. So that's what that's equal to, one-third. Now, that's a, a lot of formatting the cells there, but you can also use the uh, cells for uh, further calculations. For example, if I want to do five times one-third, I could go to any cell and do equals five times, but instead of typing in one-third, I already have one-third in a couple different cells. I have it here as a decimal, and I have it here as a fraction. So I can just click on one of these cells. It will put in the cell reference, which is L, column L, row 6. Hit Enter, and now that's, um, that is now what I typed there, which was five times uh, L6, five times one-third, which is... Uh, one and two-thirds. Now, if you don't like it written like this, one and two-thirds, we can right-mouse-click again and format the cell 
as just a regular number like this. And again, this number isn't really 1.67. It's 1.6 repeating. And you can see that by adding more digits to it. So you can see it just repeats the 1.6s. So, um, and if you have multiple operations that you need to do in math, just do equals. Let's say we had something like uh, 11 thirds times uh, 4 sevenths raised to the, and that's shift 6, raised to the 4th power. So this is 11 thirds times 4 sevenths raised to the 4th. What is that? That's this number right here. Let's do another one. How about square root? So this would be SQRT equals SQRT of, let's say, uh, 16. What's the square root of 16? Well, that's 4. And like we saw here, if you want to say raised to a power, you do the caret up. That's raised to a power. Now, if you have a, a quantity, let's say you have um, some complicated stuff up on the uh, numerator, uh, let's say 3 minus 8 squared. Well, I don't want to do 3 minus 8. If I just type in 3 minus 8 squared like this, and then I want to say that whole 3 minus 8 squared is over, I don't know, let's say 7 minus 5. Well, the only thing it's really dividing here is the 8 squared over the 7 minus 5. So my point is, is that if you have a, a, a group of numbers on the numerator, you have to put those in parentheses in the same way with a hunk of numbers or a quantity in the denominator, you need to put those in parentheses. And now it's going to do this whole quantity, 3 minus 8 squared over this whole quantity, 7 minus 5. And that's what we get. And again, you can use these in, in cell references. I'll do that again. Like, for example, if I wanted to add up these numbers, I could do equals this plus this plus this. If I wanted to do uh, multiple functions with these, if I wanted to say equals 2 times this cell minus, well, let's do that here, minus uh, the square root of this number, and now I'll say all of this, so let me put this in parentheses, all of this divided by this number here. And there we go. Now the nice thing with doing these cell references is when I change one of these, now see this one's referenced clear back here. So if I change this one number, it's going to change this. And since this number is referenced into this formula, it's going to change this. So let me change this to a, a different fraction. From one third, let's change it to just six. Here we go. So all these numbers change. This number is so big, or is, uh, ha, you know, is, a, is an odd number here that I got to go uh, larger with it to show. And that wasn't that it was an odd number; it just was a little bit bigger number and didn't fit in the cell with all those digits. So that's how to get uh, the accuracy really good is to you know, instead of rounding and say three times 0.39 and getting round off buildup and losing uh, losing points or whatever from uh, from missing a problem due to rounding, just keep all the all the values in there. So um, uh, okay, now I'll go to the next video. I'll show how to put in some uh, functions. So I'll stop this video here.